How's everyone doing on today's project? It's on this uh, Toro Recycler push uh, mower and the problem the customer was having he said uh, that it was bogging down when it was uh, running. We're going to take a look at it and see if we can get it running properly for him. All right, guys, so I talked to this gentleman, uh, elderly gentleman. He tried to, um, he contacted me. Uh, I told him I couldn't really do it right away. He contacted me uh, and tried to uh, see if I can fix this for him. Uh, I couldn't do it right away for him. And uh, so he tried and attempted to do it himself, like many homeowners probably do. And as you can see, now it's coming to me in parts and pieces. All right, so... Um, What's going on here is he tried to get at the carburetor and it, uh, he got the uh, float bowl off, but then he lost the bowl nut, which acts as the uh, main jet as well. So I'm gonna have to try and find one of those for him in my hoard and uh, put this all back together and see if we can't get this thing uh, running and then I'll uh, do a nice tune up on it for him. All right guys, so I got you up on my bench. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to uh, spray a little bit of carb spray since this is all taken apart up and in underneath where the emulsion tube is. Okay, spray that down. Then what I'm gonna do is uh, put the bowl back on. It is nice and clean and I have a bowl jet or a bowl nut, I should say, off of a different uh, carburetor. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that back on. Looks like the um, bowl gasket is actually in pretty decent shape. So I'm just gonna put this guy back on. And um, these Briggs and Stratton's, it doesn't matter how you put the bowl back on. If it's a Tecumseh, then it does make a difference. So you're gonna to want to make sure you put that bowl back on the proper way. And uh, this is just a half inch nut, bowl nut. gonna spread a little bit of carb spray in through these little holes here okay blow those out with some crap compressed air all right the bowl nut was clean the bowl was clean so uh, hopefully that's good enough. That should clean that all off. I'm just going to spray a little bit of compressor around this. It's real dirty. Okay. Then uh, we don't have to put the air filter housing back on to test this. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put a little bit of fuel in here. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Uh, because this tank is a little bit on the dirty side, I don't want to put that into my nice clean uh, carburetor. What I'm going to do is go ahead and just spray a little bit of carb cleaner in there, see if it will fire and uh, see if it fires and dies. And then we're going to go ahead and proceed from there. All right, so the choke flap is closed, which is a good sign. This is an auto choke system, which means the auto choke system is working properly. So uh, I'm going to open up this choke flap, spray some uh, quick start in there, or carb spray, whatever you like. Okay. Okay. And uh, we're gonna see if this thing will fire up on that. that. Quick start fuel. All right, so that's a good sign. So uh, what I'm going to do next is go ahead and uh, clean out the uh, the fuel tank. Get all that grummy, gungy, grungy stuff in there out of there going to clean up the spark plug. Uh, I'm going to change the oil for them. I'm going to 
rebend this back into shape for them, uh, sharpen the blade and balance it, and uh, lubricate all the cables and stuff. And um, then we're going to come back and see if we uh, if we've uh, solved this problem for him here. Uh, if you want a uh, detailed uh, video on how I do all of those things I just explained, you go ahead and click the top right corner here now. I'll link to a uh, four-part series that shows you how to do a complete tune-up on one of these uh, lawn mowers, uh, push mowers. All right, guys, uh, I'm back with you. Let me just give you a rundown of everything I did on this thing. So uh, I straightened out the uh, exhaust shield here. I cleaned up the spark plug. Uh, I've changed the oil. Uh, I cleaned out the fuel tank, put some fresh non-ethanol fuel in there. I actually put a new filter in there. I um, didn't do much with the carburetor itself because he had it apart. So I just put a new uh, float bowl um, uh, nut on there, bowl nut, which is the main jet as well. Uh, let's see, I lubricated the wheels and adjusters. I lubricated all the cables, and uh, I think that is it. So uh, what we're going to do is try and get this thing started. Oh, the other thing I did notice too, it's going to be hard to see up and underneath this cover right here, is uh, that there is a spring right at the tip of my finger here, the spring. So the spring attaches to this arm. This arm is bent quite a bit that way. So I think that is going to, it's gotten banged or dinged or something like that. And it's pushed this arm uh, that way towards the back of the mower. And that's gonna probably cause the RPM to run a little bit slower, or too slow. So let's see, we're gonna fire it up and uh, see if it, uh, see how it runs first of all. And then uh, we'll see what the RPM is like as well. All right guys, so it is running a little bit on the slow side. I can tell that just by listening, but I'm gonna get myself my tachometer here. Got the uh, Easy Tac 328. It's running at about 2600 rpm and i want it around uh 33 to 3200 rpm so i'm gonna get in there and bend that tab back guys so there you go um, I believe that the uh, customers problem about it uh, bogging down it was the fact that it was only running at 2600 rpm and uh, I think this one's gonna be good to go I'm just gonna run it for about five ten minutes just to make sure it's all set and there's no other issues with it but um, I think we're good to go with this one so it was a easy fix hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed the video if you did please smash the like button and if you're not already a subscriber and you like this kind of content, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out on the channel. Till our next uh, project together, guys. Take care.